Welcome to the Crypto Investments Channel. In this video, I will talk about Decentraland price prediction and Decentraland news today. If you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Write in the comments your price forecast for Decentraland in 2022. Decentraland Mana, defines itself as a virtual reality platform based on the Ethereum blockchain that allows users to create, serve and monetize content and applications. In this virtual reality, users buy land that they can later navigate, build on, and monetize. Decentraland was launched following a $24 million initial coin offering, ICO, that took place in 2017. Virtual World launched its closed beta in 2019 and opened to the public in February 2020. Since then, users have created a wide range of experiences on their land sites, including interactive games, extensive 3D scenes, and many other interactive experiences. Decentraland was created by Ariel Milik and Esteban Ordano, who have retired from their core roles on the project, but are still working with Decentraland as advisors. So let's start with the most important news of the past days about Decentraland. What connects Decentraland and Muin Wallet? The Casa Voltaire mystery. Between 2014 and 2016, Casa Voltaire in Buenos Aires hosted the teams that built three important organizations for cryptocurrencies and WEB3. The Decentraland metaverse, smart contract auditing firm Open Zeppelin, and the Muin Wallet all started their dot in the article Casa Voltaire. The unknown history of the Palermo Bunker, where millionaire companies were born, a nation guides us through the few things people know about the mysterious house. A hacker house with a startup incubator feel, Casa Voltaire's guests experimented with smart contracts in Bitcoin. The DAOs of the time. They also created some of the first NFTs before that acronym appeared in public consciousness. In June 2021, after the OSC alleged it had failed to meet certain regulatory requirements. But in today's undertaking, Binance admits it had still allowed users in Ontario to trade on its platform. It had even incorrectly informed users that it had the necessary approvals to operate in the province. The exchange said it had begun blocking Ontario users since early January, but said that investors were still using its platform. But today's undertaking marks a departure from the company's previous rhetoric with the OSC. Specifically, Binance said the OSC can now pursue legal action against the firm for failure to comply with the ban. This undertaking represents a legally enforceable commitment by Binance to the OSC. The OSC reserves the right to take enforcement action against Binance for any past, present or future breaches of Ontario securities law, not arising from the events described in the undertaking. The OSC said in a separate statement. Only six crypto exchanges approved so far by the OSC so far, Ontario's security regulator has approved only six crypto exchanges to operate in the province, with all of them being local operators. Canada does not have a national securities regulator, with each province managing its own capital markets. The OSC is the country's largest and also regulates the benchmark Toronto Stock Exchange. Binance is still allowed to operate in Canada's other provinces. There are more and are often footprints of high net worth investors. Tracking these transfers help market participants get a grasp of what these institutional investors could be on. Essentially, this on-chain index serves as a proxy for such investors. A spike in this metric could be seen as bullish if it occurs at the bottom of the bear run and bearish at the top of a bull run. Considering how Eng has lost 75% of its value, the recent increase in transactions worth $100,000 or more from 6 to 40 reveals an optimistic outlook for Eng and Coin. While things are looking up for Eng, market participants need to exercise caution as a pullback may be around the corner. Moreover, the uncertainty around Bitcoin could lead to a suboptimal outlook for Eng and Coin. Perhaps the most interesting metric is the supply of Eng held on exchanges. This index can be used to determine the potential sell side pressure for an asset. For Engine Coin, the holdings of Eng have increased from 403 million to 417 million. This net 14 million uptick in Eng entering centralized exchange wallets indicates that these investors might sell in case of a flash crash, compounding the sell side pressure and causing more losses. Therefore, market participants need to exercise caution when investing in Engine Coin. And second news about Metaverse Fashion Week 70 brands do their best to showcase style in Decentraland. Decentraland kicked off Metaverse Fashion Week, a combination of high-end designers and wearables vendors flaunting non-fungible token NFT, collections in the blockchain-based virtual world. Brands such as Estee Lauder, Tommy Hilfiger, Dolce & Gabbana and Forever 21 are all participating in the virtual fashion event. Many spend weeks laying claim to Metaverse-ready trademarks in what now appears to have been a preemptive brand protection strategy ahead of their NFT premiere. With the rise of digital goods and metaverse shopping experiences, Decentraland's Fashion Week seeks to provide a space for people to express themselves and expand the understanding of their own self through wearables on their avatars, said Sam Hamilton, Decentraland's creative director. I see people being much more outrageous in the metaverse, Hamilton told Coindesk in a phone interview. People will see a really great use case for NFTs as a result of the event. 
fashion shows, galleries and brand-hosted panels will pop up across a newly developed corner of Decentraland called Fashion District through March 27. Virtual real estate company Metaverse Group purchased the 6,000-square-foot plot last November for a record $2.4 million. How much will Decentraland cost in 2025, or how much will Decentraland cost in 10 years? Guessing price fluctuations and predicting future prices is a hell of a task. Decentraland Price Prediction 2022 It appears that by 2022, Decentraland, Mana, prices will hit a level similar to their previous all-time high. For 2022, we can expect the average rate to be $3.70. If everything goes smoothly, we predicted that Decentraland's maximum price could be up to $4.21 in 2022. Of course, there are chances that the market will fall after a long bull run, and this is normal for the cryptocurrency market. Decentraland Course Forecast 2023 Mana has great potential, with certain interactions and innovations, it is possible to increase the number of users in advertising. If the market focuses on investing in Decentraland, the price could rise much higher. By 2023, it may reach a maximum value of $6.18. Mana is expected to reverse slightly if the market goes down. The year 2023 could end with an average price of $5.37, a minimum price of $5.19, and a maximum price of $6.18. Decentraland Course Prediction 2024 In 2024, with wider adoption in partnerships between other important blockchain networks, Decentraland price will skyrocket. The maximum trading price could reach $9.01 in 2024. The price ranges will be very trendy if we stick to them. If all goes well, we can expect an average price of $8.04 with a maximum price of $9.01 for 2024. Price Mana Forecast 2025 for a long-term forecast of the Decentraland price, basic analysis is important. In terms of industry benefits, the native token offers several. The autonomy of the digital economy makes it ideal. As DAP and stablecoins evolve, the network offers competitive programmable payment, logistics, and storage options. There is a possibility that the average price of mana will rise to around $11.46 by 2025 if the idea attracts more investors. For 2025, the year could end with a maximum price of $13.49 with a minimum price. Level $11.13. Mana Rate Prediction 2026. Mana will be seen as the best option, and with a huge community, the Decentraland rate will reach new highs. Price swings are hard to predict, especially if the market is more bullish or bearish than ever. For the year 2026, the Decentraland rate will be almost $16.85. The maximum bet we can get is $20.02. Decentraland average price prediction for the end of 2026 could be around $17.30. A huge price turnover is expected in the range determined by the cryptocurrency market. Mana price prediction 2027. A flawless approach to this currency can be found on many websites and forums. According to this prediction platform, Decentraland will remain at its current level for a very long time. By 2027, Mana is expected to peak at $29.37. The minimum bid could rise to $24.21 if the market turns bullish.